It started with a whisper from the soil. In a remote field, scorched by time and forgotten by history, a single shard of bone emerged, weathered, ancient, seemingly insignificant. But inside, it held a secret, a genetic signature untouched for thousands of years. As scientists extracted the DNA, what they found shattered everything we thought we knew about South Asia's ancient past. A long-lost people, buried beneath layers of sediment and centuries of conflict, now spoke through their genetic code, and what they said was shocking. A link, clear, undeniable, between two nations long separated by politics, religion, and borders. A connection that predated empires, outlived dynasties, and rewrote the ancestral map of an entire region. How could ancient DNA reveal such a deep, unexpected bond between India and Bangladesh? And what does this mean for the history of human migration, culture, and identity? This is the story of a discovery that shook the scientific world. Centuries before the rise of modern borders, the land between the Ganges and the Brahmaputra was a cradle of civilization. Ancient cities flourished here. Mahastangar, Pundranagar, Chandraketugar, centers of trade, culture, and religion. Today, they lie in ruins, split between India and Bangladesh. Yet the people who once inhabited this region shared more than just geography. They shared rituals, architecture, languages, and posi. Archaeologists had long suspected a deeper connection, but they lacked proof. Colonial records distorted the past. National narratives painted divided histories. And the truth, whatever it was, remained buried. That is, until the arrival of a new tool, ancient DNA sequencing. Suddenly, the graves of forgotten ancestors became archives of Infracud genetics, UNCO. The stakes weren't just scientific. They were cultural, even political. It began near the village of Wari Bhattashwar in central Bangladesh, an unassuming mound of earth hiding layers of history. Locals knew the legends of buried cities, of golden coins, of kings lost to time. But what lay beneath was far more valuable. In 2018, a team of archaeologists uncovered an ancient burial site. Among the artifacts, pottery, beads, iron tools, was a remarkably preserved human femur, its marrow sealed in by centuries of clay. The bone was dated to nearly 3,800 years ago, older than most kingdoms known in the region. When researchers from Dhaka and Delhi collaborated on the analysis, they didn't expect much. Perhaps confirmation of known ethnic groups? Perhaps evidence of local trade? But what the DNA revealed stunned them. The sample carried haplogroups rarely found in the modern population. Ancestral markers that pointed both westward into the Indian subcontinent and eastward across the Bengal Delta. It was not just one people. It was a convergence. The past had begun to speak, and it was saying something no one expected. The findings ignited a scientific firestorm. Teams from the University of Calcutta and the Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology launched a joint expedition joined by geneticists from Europe and computational biologists from the U.S. This was no longer a local excavation. It had become an international mission to decode a genetic mystery stretching back millennia. They began comparing ancient DNA from Wari Bachwar with samples from Harappan skeletons in northwest India, Neolithic remains from the Deccan Plateau, and even early tribal burials in Assam and Meghalaya. The data was overwhelming, fragments of genetic code weaving a story lost to time. But one pattern kept surfacing, a genetic bridge connecting eastern Bengal with central and southern India, bypassing the known trade routes and written histories. The challenge? These ancient genomes were highly degraded, contaminated, broken. Each sequence had to be reconstructed like a shattered mirror one fragment at a time. 
Months passed, computers ran day and night, and slowly a profile emerged, one that defied national identities and historical divisions. They were closing in on a prehistoric truth hidden beneath the noise of centuries after two years of cross-referencing ancient DNA with over 12,000 modern and prehistoric samples, the breakthrough came. A specific mitochondrial haplogroup, M52b, surfaced repeatedly in the remains from both ancient Bengal and central India. This maternal lineage, passed from mother to child, pointed to a shared ancestry dating back over 5,000 years. But the real shock came when researchers sequenced nuclear DNA, traces of a long-lost population genetically equidistant from both Dravidian and Austroasiatic groups showed up in both regions. This was not a migration. It was a coexistence, a now extinct genetic culture that once thrived across what is today divided territory. A forgotten civilization predating the Vedic age, existing outside known linguistic families. Scientists dubbed it the Bengal Central Corridor Ancestral Group. The implications were staggering. This discovery suggested that the political divide between India and Bangladesh had overwritten a much older biological unity. Not just trade, not just language, but shared blood. One line of code, hidden in an ancient femur, had reconnected two nations. Thousands of years ago, long before the concept of nation-states, a vast swath of land stretching from the central Indian plateau to the floodplains of Bengal was home to a singular, thriving culture. Picture it. Dense forests giving way to fertile valleys, rivers teeming with life, and communities of farmers, artisans, and traders moving freely along natural corridors. These people spoke languages that no longer exist. They worshipped gods lost to time. And yet, they built something enduring themselves. Through the seasonal migration of livestock, the flow of riverine trade, and intermarriage between clans, a genetic web formed, stronger than stone, deeper than written word. Over centuries, this group diversified, absorbed influences, fractured into tribes and kingdoms, but their genetic imprint remained remarkably stable. Then came the disruptions, climate shifts, invasions, the slow rise of empires, and eventually, colonization. Borders hardened, identities were redrawn. What had once been one became many. Yet deep within their descendants, across both India and Bangladesh, the ancient code persisted. Now, for the first time in over 5,000 years, science had reassembled the threads. And what it revealed was not just a lost civilization, but a shared origin story waiting to be reclaimed. In the end, it wasn't politics, maps, or monuments that told the truth. It was DNA, silent, patient, incorruptible. The ancient code hidden inside a femur unearthed in Bangladesh had revealed a profound truth. Long before borders, there was belonging. Long before division, there was unity. And perhaps, beneath all the layers of identity we wear today, Something older still connects us. For scientists, this was a monumental discovery. But for the people of India and Bangladesh, it was something deeper. A reminder that history is never as simple as it seems. That culture, blood, and memory don't end at the edge of a river or the line on a map. And maybe, just maybe, understanding where we truly come from is the first step to seeing one another not as strangers, but as relatives separated by time. What other secrets lie buried beneath the soil, waiting to be decoded? If this story fascinated you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and dive deeper into the mysteries of ancient humanity with us. Because the past isn't dead. It's in our DNA.